Welcome back. Today we are going to see about one of the interesting options strategy which is nothing but cash secured put. Uh, so this trade is predominantly uh, popular in world stock markets either in US stock markets or Indian stock markets uh, particularly between the option traders who predominantly trade into um, intraday options either in stocks or indices so this strategy is uh, uh, very popular among the traders uh, we have seen a uh, couple of strategies in the sessions before like long strangle and long sta long straddle so this strategy is something uh, uh, different and, and also it is very helpful for uh, uh, investors who have a significant corpus and they want to generate uh, a rental income or generate a quick revenue uh, to their uh, trading account so before going into the agenda so what we are going to see in today's sessions is uh, once again the strategy name is cash acute put by end of the session one can able to understand how to set up the trades in actual trading platforms live platforms either in US markets or Indian stock markets uh, I will explain with the live demo uh, how to uh, execute the trades and, all, and also at the same time uh, how to read the profit and loss uh, graphs or the pay of graphs and uh, second Im most important thing is who should run this trades uh, uh, what kind of investors or what kind of traders should execute these positions and third thing is when to run the trades uh, what is the time what is the exact time even though in markets we don't have a perfect time so what is the expectation and time wise we should give importance to that is one thing and third thing is what is the break even point so if it is breaking breaking even point in the sense when we'll start making the profits so if, when we are making profits what is be our maximum potential loss and at the same time what will be our maximum potential profit so these things we are going to see in addition to that we will see couple of things like margin requirements and what are all the pros and cons like advantages and disadvantages of executing these trades before uh, entering into any kind of this uh, trades uh, let's quickly jump into the trades the first point which is nothing but the setting up the trades how to execute the trades in the actual platforms so this is the platform which I have already opened in place which is nothing but the fidelity platform uh, which is uh, predominantly popular across Indian stock markets uh, or in the US stock markets sorry it's it is pretty uh, popular in the US stock markets so what I'm going to do is uh, as I told earlier so I'm going to execute uh, a trade so the underlying which I'm looking now is a JP Morgan Chase so uh, the strategy is a cash secured put so why we need to execute this strategy the cash secured put is something uh, an investor has a lot of corpus say in this case uh, the stock price now is 103.52 so he has a lot of corpus in his account so what he feels or what he senses uh, the stock price will come down uh, in another one month time frame maybe uh, less than 100 or it will stay in under for some more time so you don't want to right away buy the stock so you want to instead of waiting in the stock uh, you want to generate some revenue because he's losing the investment opportunity right now so the first thing is he want to delay his investment he don't want to enter into this trade lively because he senses the prices will drop drop over time so uh, that is the first thing so what is going to do is is going to sell one put option so uh, the put option which I'm going to choose is uh, the near time option so let me choose the one on 104 and uh, the put the evaluation price is somewhere around 1.84 so that is the live price now so by seeing this put why I'm going to sell this position uh, the 104 uh, is the strike what is the reason behind it uh, so there are many reasons let me explain one by one so the first thing behind uh, the reason I would say the first reason to sell this put is uh, since the investor feels that uh, the stock price uh, will stay in this zone for some time so he feels that the the price move will not 
the price is not going to jump in the near term immediately so for that uh, you don't want to deploy the funds immediately so but at the same time in order to generate some revenue is going to sell the put option so what is the quantity the quantity here is one lot what i mean by one is on one lot so one lot in the sense it can uh, in this case it is 100 quantities so the quantity is one of the predominant factor in this strategy i'll come to that at the second case but one thing which we should keep in mind is uh, the quantity so quantity is one so one signifies uh, under quantities of uh, jp morgan shares in the same way this is a us markets in indian markets in the same way it can be 75 or 80 or 100 so the same case applicable so the expiration date i'm choosing as september 11 so that is the trade so uh, this is the tra uh, the date where the option expires so the date i am choosing is the near term which is one week down the line so what i am going to do now is i am going to choose a put option now so this is the strike so the strike is something like uh, where i am going to bet on so what i am trying to say from this strike by selling this put option at under strike what i am telling is uh, the price of the stock price of jp morgan will not fall below 100 so will not fall below 100 uh, we are selling this put so we are giving protection to others so by receiving since we are selling it we are receiving a premium of 50 dollars from the buyers uh, 50 dollars from the buyers so 50 cents into 100 is 50 dollars so that's the reason so as we can see here the 50 cents is nothing but the actual uh, premium the option premium which we are going to receive as a credit so uh, in the dollar terms it is 50 dollars so 50 cents into 100 so uh, that the strike which i'm choosing is 100 100 and the option is put option and the evaluation price is uh, 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 50 cents which is nothing but uh, the option premium so let me apply the trades now so we have the position in place so now here we can see the interesting payoff this payoff uh, it's actually tells uh, when we start making profits or when we start making losses uh, here how we come to a second point uh, so we have seen about how to uh, execute the trades and actual actual platforms so but who should run it so who is the ideal participants who can execute in this kind of trades uh, the first thing is uh, the people the, f the main thing here is uh, since we are selling this put option so which is a naked put option so if the price goes down if the price falls down to 90 or 80 uh, this put option will be in loss so let me explain the graph first so the maximum profit of this strategy is fifty dollars it is limited to fifty dollars so this is the area so this is the area if the stock price stays above 99.5 we are in profit zone we are in no trouble we are in good shape so anything from 99.5 to uh, beyond that we are perfectly fine no issues but the problem starts which is on the white line here to the left one say for example um, if the stock moves to 90 immediately so the point here is uh, at 93 uh, we'll be sitting at a loss of around 750 dollars so which is significantly use, uh, huge but the point here is uh, the the motive behind this strategy is once the stock falls to 750 dollars we are going to buy the stock at 93 in the market so by that way instead of buying it at uh, one or three we are buying it around 93 which is pretty good because uh, if you have bought at one or three or one or four currently if it goes to 93 then you'd have lost around uh, thousand dollars but here you have, you have saved around 750 dollars so that is one case uh, and also at the same time um, we can see here uh, what happens if the stock is not moving so we have seen the worst case if the stock is falling down uh, we are incurring losses here we can see if the stock goes to 92 we are incurring losses of 750 96 380 so this is our loss zone so what happens if the stock stays at the same zone or one or three so we are fine because since the stock doesn't fall below 100 so we are perfectly fine here so 50 dollars is our maximum profit we'll be getting it so quickly going back to this uh, uh, quick checkpoints so who should run it so definitely the investor who have who have a ready-made cash of say um, 100 dollars uh, i would say uh, let me punch in into a calculator so uh, the investor should be having a ready-made uh, 
sufficient quantity to buy the equity say uh, if he's going to buy 100 shares of JP Morgan so uh, he needs a corpus of at least 93 um, 9300 so which is nothing but at least uh, 9300 dollars in the account uh, i'm saying in the plain case uh, he can execute this trade because uh, the point here is the cash the the strategy name is cash secured put so the cash is going to secure us if the uh, stock falls down that, that is the uh, main nature behind it so coming to the uh, third point when to run it so the optimal time to run this kind of strategies uh, optimal time to run this kind of strategies or uh, when the stock price is uh, going to stay at the same point for some time here we can see here if the stock is remaining at the same point like 100 or 104 is the current level now so 103 so if the stock is staying at the same zone or uh, anything above the strike uh, like the strike is 100 anything above the strike or equal to strike uh, if you sense that then that is the point we should take this trade this kind of trades otherwise uh, this strategy is not advisable in case of high volatility environments like if the stock is swinging uh, every day 10 points up 10 points down so this strategy is not uh, going to suit one so as we have seen in the break even so we are going to break even uh, anything above 100 we are perfectly fine no issues but anything below 100 we are in trouble so that trouble is going to save us by cash cash is going to save uh, from that trouble so if, if it goes to 92 or 94 buy it in cash market buy the equity in cash market that is the uh, main strategy so now coming to the quick checkpoint uh, each strategies have advantages and its disadvantages so none of these strategies suits very well in the market or it is going to work perfectly in the market so there are certain factors which influences option pricing so we need to keep in mind uh, what are all the friends and what are all the enemies in case of options option prices predominantly if you're taking into a sell positions so this is the factors which you need to look into so implied volatility time value and underlying stock move if the implied volatility of the, of the stock is high say for example let's have a quick example so JP Morgan is 103.52 now so if the stock is swinging uh, every hour some 103 to uh, 110 the, from 110 to 130 so if there is a huge swing in the price movements then uh, this strategy is not advisable so that's the reason in case of high volatility environments this strategy is bad so in case of low volatility environments this strategy is good this works fine and also the time value so uh, higher the time value it's going to be bad the reason is uh, the implied volatility and the time value are somewhat positively correlated if volatility is high so then the time value factor will be high so the higher time value uh, is something bad the reason is uh, since we have sold the put option uh, the option we will gain only if the option loses value so uh, if the time value is more the option will not lose or the option will not decay very sooner so uh, implied volatility uh, some way act as an enemy to uh, the time value so higher the time value it is bad once the implied volatility is increasing so uh, if the implied volatility is low then the time value will be low then over the time the option price will decay and will be gaining as profit that is one second thing and third thing is the underlying stock move uh, so significant move is definitely bad uh, to repeat again so the stock movement is slow then it is predominantly good so these are all the um, key takeaways between uh, with uh, cash acute put uh, hope it is helpful so uh, if you find it interesting so please uh, post your uh, feedbacks uh, thanks thanks for watching see you in the next video thank you bye